gang. We back with another one, man. It's your boy Pierre. Man, it's getting chilly out here, man. We gotta go put blue magic up today. So that's gonna be the thing today. We gonna go get it washed. Detail it real quick. Nothing major, just a little something. And we gonna put this thing up, man. So let's do it. Gotta get that cold started before we go anywhere. That's movement for the day. And we gotta go vote. Man, we about to go vote right now, though. Gotta vote. Gotta put your vote in, man. Every vote count. I don't know where you live, but wherever you live, when it's time to vote, make sure y'all go vote, man. Voting is very important. But, get back with y'all when we get to our next stop. All right, so I'm here vacuuming out the car, man. It's too cold to hold this camera. I ain't a lot of y'all, so I had to go ahead and get with it and show y'all the end results. And I probably ain't gonna hand wash it because I'm cold already. And I ain't bring no coat or no gloves or nothing, so I don't know. I might run it through the hands free and just dry it off. It might be the best bet. But besides that, I want to still tell y'all like five things I dislike about my Challenger. So. That's what we gonna kind of flip this into. Vacuum him on out. Let's look good for vacuum out. A lot of that stuff I gotta take out, take in the house with. So don't really mind that stuff. Yeah. All right, man. Just got in the car, man. God dang, it's windy out today. But uh, yeah, man. I wanted to say like one thing I don't like about my car. I love it overall. One thing I don't like, like my partner, he got a uh, he got an 18 charger. The chargers have like memory seats. Why don't the challengers have that? You know, so that that's like one not a big issue, but I would like it. You know, like when my wife drive a car, you know, she's shorter than me, so she pushed the seat all the way up. You know, then when I get in, I gotta sit there and wait a couple minutes, hold the damn button, roll the seat back. That'd be a nice little update for the 2020, you know, as far as the challengers. I hope they can fit that in. I don't know why they wouldn't put it in, but that's here nor there. Second thing I have, and for those who don't know, I have a 2018 Dodge Challenger B5 Blue. It's the plus version. So I have the leather seats. I have the sunroof, as you can see. Custom decal on it, you know, pretty cool cheap proof but why don't we have pedal shifters we don't have pedal shifters in here that suck but when i was at the dealer my option was to get the pedal shifters no sunroof y'all know what i went with I, I i had to have a sunroof i think that's a little more better than pedal shifters but please can we get that overall on the five sevens i mean i know they try to try not to give you everything you know, they really want you to pay more money and get a you know better car or Hellcat or something to get everything overall. But I even seen in the scats in the, in the Hellcats, like they still don't have everything. You know, I just seen them with leather seats and, 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 and uh, pedal shifters, and they still won't have a sunroof. You know, so it's like, come on now, we need one with the whole shebang in it. You know, third, as y'all see, I got sport mode. But why well, we don't have like the the uh, launch mode or nothing on here in the 18s? I believe they came with the 19. I'm not 100% sure, but the 18. We don't have a launch mode. That sucks. Yeah, I don't like that, man. You know, I, I, I want to learn how to use the launch mode. And, you know, I don't know if that's something that just come equipped. If you had the pedal shifters, I need to check on that. I don't. I'm not 100% sure, so don't kill me in the comments for that. But yeah, I think that'd be a nice technique for it. Nah, number four is the seat belts. Now, y'all see these little hook things right here. I don't keep mine in there because it's like when you got it in there, they're hard to pull over you for some odd reason, you know? Because I, I like to have my seat back. So when I got my seat back, it's like I can't pull the, the seat belt. So, I mean, maybe they can fix that. 
something simple in life, but I don't like it, Dodge. Fix that. And number five. Now, I don't know if it's for everybody, car, but for mine, my remote starter is like I pretty much got to be next to the car for it to work. Like I can't be, you know, across the parking lot and hit it and it starts. Like that sucks. I mean, I don't know if that's just something that's going on with mine. If anybody else has a 2018 Challenger RT, would you let me know down in the comments? But yeah, like the, the remote starter sucks. You know, let's get that together. We need better range on that, especially when it's cold. You know what I'm saying? I'm leaving out the grocery store or something. I want to be able to, you know, boop, boop, start my car. But I can't even do it. I got to pretty much walk up on it. By that time, it's pointless. I can get in and start the damn thing. But that's just quick five things that I don't like about the Challenger, you know. But overall, it's a good car. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't take it back. I wouldn't turn it in. But it, it just, you know, those five things I think Dodge should step it up on. But overall, great car, Dodge. I'm about to, uh, like I said, I'm about to go rinse it off real quick, shine it up real quick, and I'm about to put it in storage. Blue Magic is going away for the winter. It's not a good car to drive in the winter. You know, it's rear end dry, rear wheel dry. It sucks. And I don't want any non driving people in Michigan to hit my car. So it's going in storage today. I will be still doing vlogs, but I will be in my Impala. So. Stay tuned for that. Got a couple little reviews I'm gonna do on that. I got a couple things I need to get fixed. Uh, the car been sitting all, all summer and somehow like not a muffler like got a hole in it. I don't know how that happened, but we gotta get that fixed. I'm gonna do a video on that. Uh, I think I wanna go put some tinted windows on it. A couple other little modifications I might do over the winter with it. Not nothing too much, but we gonna do something. You know what I'm saying? We gotta keep the ball rolling. That's pretty much it. So I get back with y'all when we get over here when we park in the car. It's time. I'm to put it in my mother's law garage. She's not doing nothing with her garage. So we'll be in this for the winter. Let's see, let's see what we can do. We got a tire going low, so we gotta go get that checked up. Causing me problems already. But we here. About to put the car in my mother-in-law garage. She's not using her garage, so I'm gonna store it in there for the winter. Save a couple of dollars. So cleaning it out. That done. Get the wife the hunters back in there. Get the covering. I'm about to miss Blue Magic for the winter. We can't risk getting it messed up. We don't want no snow to tear it up either. Dang. I don't think she want to put it up. She be acting like she can't make it in here. summer y'all definitely gonna have fun this summer. So. all right y'all so there you have it the magic is all bundled up for the winter had to put her coat on but that'll be the end of this video y'all thanks for watching please like share subscribe and for all my new subscribers i just want to thank everybody and the ones that still ain't seen the channel that's on their way i want to thank y'all in advance and everybody that's been here since day one man i thank everybody man it ain't been an easy journey but we've been getting it done we ain't stopping 
we're just gonna switch the content up a little bit because it's about to be winter it's gonna be a lot of snow so it ain't gonna really be no car scenes going on or nothing like that but like i said we do a little something with the impala you know just to keep this thing going but this will be the end thank y'all once again man peace